I've got a redstone circuit running through my brain, but it don't make me no smarter because we're starting this one off by opening a chance cube and we get a bunch of colourful walls. And where's the death and destruction? Where is it? Okay, actually that was kind of awesome. So welcome back to another episode of Full Craft 2, hanging out here in our mystical grove, which might not be for so long as we're going to explore the world in hopes of finding a new base just checking out vintage beef's mystical agriculture farm over here he's farming some copper for his uh, gun mod i forget what it's called but this is going to be temporary possibly i don't know we might actually settle down in this biome but we've been chatting about it and we feel like we should explore the world a little bit more just to see what's out there and i'm hoping we can find a biome like this maybe on its own little island or something a little bit more ideal now i have been exploring the continent that we are a part of you can see it's got a rough sort of border. It might connect down to another land mess over there. Uh, but this is our area. It's kind of a bit of a strange shape. And also, we are right next to Iscout and Doc. I have found their island. I believe they've claimed the entire thing. It's sort of connected through some ice. And their base is located at the very front of that. So we have some neighbours. And I think we might want to be a little bit more isolationist. You know, have our own little corner of the world where uh, we are nice and safe from any threats. <laughs> uh, not suggesting anything, not suggesting anything. So we are going to go exploring, which ties us into something else I'm doing. There is a mod called Applied Energistics. If you've seen some of my other modded stuff, we've often used refined storage to store items, and this mod is going to be an alternative to that. But in order to get going, you need to find some meteorites and get four different inscribers, or whatever they're called, to get going and in order to make this we've got to do a little bit of work as well we need charge certus quartz crystal I've already got some of these crystals I believe what we need with it though is some quartz there is a way to make this stuff by chucking it in water but I believe you make the base quartz and then you charge it with a machine something along those lines is what we've got to do to make that and then we're going to go explore the world and with a little bit of exploration I did this morning you can see my inventory is filled up very quickly and it got me thinking that there is another mods that we could investigate just at the beginning here to help us on our travels that is iron backpacks now I don't know a lot about this mod but when you click on stuff from it there is a lot of information built into the game about this which I find extremely useful because it is very irritating to go searching around the web looking at outdated tutorials and wikis and not finding the information on a mod it's got it all right here in the game. So I'm thinking what I want to do is craft some of these iron backpacks and find out how much stuff we can store in them. So when we go looking for these meteorites, we can collect loads of stuff on our way as it's early game. Now, Beef set up a portal over here, which is fantastic. I didn't even think about visiting the Never yet. But in here, we need some quartz, as I mentioned a moment ago. So jumping through. Oh, that's kind of worrying. Where am I? It's, it's all... Nothingness. Okay. Okay, this time we're through. <laughs> the game did not like that. I don't know what happened there. Ah, straight away. What have we come here for? Some quartz. What have we found? Oh no, a trap! <laughs> uh, quick, let's, let's, let's dig a, a hole for it to go into. It should flow down into there. There we go, and it won't flow onto us. Let's grab a little bit more of this stuff before we leave. So this backpad mod looks pretty fantastic. Unfortunately for us, if we want to add any of these upgrades, we require additional upgrade points, which cost emeralds. So I went and grabbed some sugarcane to do the paper trade, wandered around the village, and absolutely every villager, with the exception of Bailey's Dailies, has disappeared. Although I did find this fella over here, who I think's actually been hanging out in this place for a long time, possibly looking at Bailey. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, you've stolen a door and you've killed all of the inhabitants. They are all gone. I'm not kidding. So we can't do the paper trade. And it means we don't get to mess around with some of these upgrades. But I've got to tell you, they sound very, very interesting. And you can hold down shift to get some info. So this one, for example, adds a damage bar to visually represent how full the backpack is at a glance. If you've got it down here, you know, if it's... I'm going to guess maybe, maybe green means there's loads of space. And then when you go further down... Um, you've got less space or possibly the other way around but there are so many crazy upgrades like this one when you die uh, it will reappear in your inventory which is super handy you've got a nesting upgrade which I believe 
means you can put a backpack inside a backpack and then there's stuff for it working with mods. Quick deposit allows you to open an inventory and just move everything straight into your backpack. It sounds very, very powerful and there is a lot of stuff. I'm just going to hover over it if you want to read, you know, filters, compression or dictionary. It sounds like it gets pretty advanced. Unfortunately, we can't do any of that stuff until we get some emeralds. So that's something for another day. For now, though, we've got the basic one. We can upgrade it to the iron. That's not enough gold ingots. Let's get some more. We need seven in total, don't we? And then after this, the recipe changes to go to diamond. Right, I believe it's one on either side. Diamonds at top and bottom. And now we've made the biggest size backpack. Let's open it up. That's pretty... That's a lot of space. I like it. I might make a second one, though, believe it or not. I might actually make a second one to come with us. I wonder if we can put a Hermitron box in there. Let's grab this one. It's empty. In you go. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, we're going to pick up more of those as we go around, right? So I think actually one will probably do us just fine. And oh yeah, i got some weapon cases that we need to open. Let's let those things wrangle around in our inventory. I just want to mention that I've also got some manual ink. Because when I was in the Never there, I found some of this stuff. There was loads of it lying around everywhere. I think the spawn rates have been turned up. So I've made a... Oh, I've made a shovel piece. I was supposed to make a head piece. I didn't even look at what was there. Where are the parts stored? Where have I put the headpiece. Found it, I found it, and uh, I don't think it's actually going to be worthwhile. In my mind, manulin was one of the best materials you could use, that's what everyone says. Thing is though, uh, mining speed, 702. And there you can see the mining speed is 7. So you increase your attack from 8 to 9.72, it's probably most useful for weapons. So I ain't actually going to bother changing that over, I'm happy to keep it as emerald for now. So we got two dog bones, attack damage 11, same as this one right here. I'm starting to think like maybe the best you can get is 11, I don't know. See you later. So it turns out I'm a little bit confused as to how this stuff works. There is Certus Quartz Crystal and Charge Certus Quartz Crystal. I thought you made this stuff using a charger. Where is the charger? That's the inscriber. I'm still not used to what these blocks look like. There it is. In order to make this, we need these things, Fluix Crystals, and you make those with Charged Certus Quartz. So it turns out that that stuff is actually found in the world. So I went back underground, did some vein mining, eventually found some of the stuff, and now we can turn all the normal stuff into this because it is a lot rarer. So what we've got to do is actually chuck these three items together in water, and then it should turn them into... Oh, wow. And how many you get? Two for each. Okay, so we made more than we needed to, but that's absolutely fine. Then we can craft this into the charger with some iron. And then we need to power this thing and we can turn that stuff into this. And this makes uh, more of those, which makes more of the key components like the inscriber, for example. Although we already have enough for that. If we chuck this thing down over here, what we can do is go into the quest book. And if you saw Iskal's episode, by the way, you're starting to see a little bit of a pattern. I've been watching his video to figure out how to get into this mod. We can claim... Oh, do you claim all three at once? Do I get some cream cookies? I thought you get to choose one of the uh, rewards. Yeah, we can get a furnace. So we've got cookies, we've got stone spikes, and we've got a coal generator. This is the first time we are generating RF. So if I chuck some coal into there, it'll generate that RF, and then it'll power this thing. And I don't think it has an interface. You just click on it with one of these, and it will turn it turn into the other stuff, right? You're going to change. You're going to change for me, buddy. Is it using all the power? No. Has it already changed? Have I just not noticed? Has it been very quick? Um, That didn't do anything, did it? So this probably needs some sort of power cable to connect the two. And I don't know, out of all the mods, which one is going to be the cheapest or that we can even make right now. Do you know what? It doesn't matter because the recipe for the compass, and that just sorted out my inventory, all it needed was the charged certs quartz crystal, which we got. So now we can go on an adventure. We're going to be exploring the world, trying to find these meteorites. We're hoping to stumble across some beautiful biomes, potential base locations, and we're going to do some raiding as well. There's a village over there that I want to raid, and of course we've got our backpack. We can put the Hermitron boxes in. We're going to be finding loads of these. It is time for us to have an exploration adventure here in the Fallcraft 2 world. So the very first one that I find is inside Iskau's base, and I believe that means we can't break or... Oh, we can place, but we can't break blocks. Oh. 
<laughs> well, when I was here earlier, I couldn't break or place blocks, but whatever, maybe that was the server freaking out. So, the first one that we find is in Iskal's base. There's the meteorite down there. He's already, already gone down there and claimed the inscriber, I think is what it is. We're looking for these, and there should be four of them in total, and I believe they are the four right there. So, I'm guessing this one, or the compass, is going to point to the closest one. So, now I've got to go out across the ocean, and hopefully it will stop pointing towards that one, and start pointing to another one. Here it is, our first one. You can see it's sort of pointing here, and when I walk around it, it points there, and then we go to the middle, and it spins around. So, we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, <laughs> that's right next to me, and I didn't notice. So, I can wreck the landscape. Let's wreck it, people. Okay, that was a bit much. It only took out the top. Then we only need to take out the stone. And now we just do this in little bursts, I guess. That's the smart way to do it. Hey, marble! That's what we want to build our base out of, potentially. If we end up in the biome like the one we're currently settled in. Okay, let's keep going down. So I went all the way down there to bedrock. And uh, it's actually over here. So I think the next time that we find one, we know to circle the area a little bit more and figure out where the exact center is because all it does at the moment is spin around even though we're over to the side a little bit. I believe that block there should be unbreakable. Oh, actually, wait a minute. No, I can actually break the sky stone. Maybe I want to vein mine that. I guess I could. Let's get the thing in the middle of it first, though. Whee! Oh, and we got two in one! Well, that's kind of fantastic, isn't it? What, what sapling is that? I'm sure that's not... One I want to keep. Silver nugget as well. I don't know if that's going to be useful, but I'll hold on to that and I'm going to dump all of this dirt in here. Okay, so that's the chest in the middle. We can actually harvest the chest and keep it. What about this sky stone? Yep, I can get all of that stuff as well. I don't know if we'll ever need it or build with it, but we've taken that. And do you know what? I'm actually going to take the chest as well. So we're not very far at all from the last place that we were at. And you know what? I've really literally just gone across the ocean to that place, across the ocean of this place, and not really explored a lot of interesting biomes. This time, though, I've made some markers from each direction where this thing started swiggling, and it had stopped going from pointing in a direction. And I reckon the middle of these sorts of markers, if you think of them as edges, is somewhere around here. So hopefully, we're going to be on top of the meteorite, and it could be that those meteorites always appear in the world at a certain height. But I don't know that, and it seems like it's been put in the middle of a dungeon. What an unfortunate place to be put. The Ender Sword. Attack damage 7. Not that good. So, oh, and Alexa. Lexica Batania. Cool. And a few other things as well. Let's mine this thing. I wonder if the spawn is still there. Nope. Unfortunately, it was destroyed. And what do we get? Ah, the one that we've already got. Okay, straight across the ocean to another biome. Um, can you spot the meteorite? It's not underground this time, it's above ground. It looks like it's got ores or blocks attached to it. it Maybe some sort of spawning in issue. Let's head up there and check it out. So there seems to be a trail of gravel and cobble and these blocks. And it's just grass and stuff like that on top of it. We'll check that out in a second. I noticed this temple over here. Last time I saw one of these it had been raided, I believe... Uh, what would be ideal here is to remove the water. There should be something just underneath here. Fingers crossed. It's a lamp. Ha! What is that? <laughs> what does it do? You are a floating crystal. Amazing. It's not harvestable, so we'll leave it alone. I wonder if there's anything down here. Nope, that's just it. Oh, there's a chest. And there's some aquamarine and some diamonds and a constellation paper. There is nothing here, apparently. So this one has three of them. And I noticed that although they look similar, they don't stack, which might mean that we've actually got all of them. So one, two... No, we've only got three now, so we still need to keep exploring. Also, you notice I've got a lot of marble. If you're wondering where that came from, all we've got to do is jump up here... Yeah, I figured I could just take all of that marble. <laughs> There's quite a lot of it there, so that thing's been ruined. I found a Hermitron case, and I filled it up with marble, because I dismantled another one of these. In fact, I've seen a couple now, so I think if ever we need marble, we can go dismantle these if it's not easy to find in the world or farm. But over there, I was like, oh, wait a minute. That is not, definitely not, marble. In fact, that looks very much like a dungeon that we explored last season. And also, when we explored last season... 
These ice lakes were a great way to get Hermitrons and Chance Cubes as well. Not seen any yet, but I've only just stepped out on it. And speaking of which, Chance Cube. We're recording. That means we've got to open it. Please don't kill me. May death rain upon them. That sounds absolutely horrible. Oh, goodness me, it's TNT. <laughs> well, we dodged that one, didn't we? Right, and let that be that. So, is this the sort of dungeon that I think it is? Do you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> it's full craft, vein mine it. Oh, yes, it is. That looks like that type to me. Also, that dropped nothing at all. We can basically remove the whole beautiful structure as if it was never here. I feel like a very destructive person right now, and I am drowning the dungeon. Yep, it's one of these dungeons. I don't feel like I'm equipped to take this on right now, but we will bookmark this place and come back here another time. Maybe with full some beef as well. That would be a fun adventure for us, wouldn't it? Let's test my luck again. Oh, you sent me up in the sky, and that's fine because I've got slime boots. <laughs> uh, hey, it's village. Cool, let's go raid this place. Do you see it? Do you spot it? Nope. Those are not trees. We have stumbled upon something truly, truly majestic as of right now. This is some sort of fortress, castle. Oh my goodness me. Hey, look at that, a Hermitron. That's kind of ironic because I just found one of these back there and I couldn't break any of the blocks and the server crashed and then when the server came back up, this was gone and all I could see was the castle over here. So I will take that, I need the storage space. And I'm not sure if I actually want to go in here. Is it a dungeon? Like, what is up with it? <laughs> uh, this is this is fascinating. This is crazy. Wow. You can see the way it's forced itself into the landscape over here. Trees have tried to generate in the middle of it. Over there it's a bit crazy, but mostly it looks pretty spectacular. And obviously that over there is the entrance. We will go into here. If it turns out to be a big old dungeon, then maybe we'll save that for exploring another day, as it's not technically what we're out here to do. Um, dead end there. <laughs> dead end on this side. Yeah, I'm going to bookmark this place, and maybe we'll come back another time. I'm opening all the ones I see. <laughs> the pig of destiny. Here's your destiny. Death. Uh, that's kind of fair, to be honest. That's kind of fair. Look at my floaty head. <laughs> On my way back, I realised that I got distracted. I started exploring instead of going uh, after the meteorites. And then I found this massive tree with a village in the middle of it. And then loads of trees behind it. And it's kind of majestical, this little place. Look, <laughs> another big tree. And oh, some of the sights you get to see when you're exploring are just fantastic. But you know what will happen, eventually you'll get settled in and forget about exploring. I, I need reminders, you know, episode 30, reminder sooner to go exploring again. <laughs> so I found another meteor site, but unfortunately it's one of the types that we've already got. If we open up our backpack, yeah, it was that one there, so we're still missing one of these. I didn't even use my compass to find this one, I noticed some glass and then I stumbled onto it. Also, this biome here is kind of lovely. <laughs> These uh, different coloured flowers, very majestic. I like this one a lot. Let's go see what's in the chest. Well, hey, I haven't seen that one before. That means that we did it. We've got all four of these. I might continue looking for a couple more because if we get another one of those, then we could actually offer these things to the other team and maybe make an ally in Team SRS, which is uh, Stress, Ren and Scar, also known as Team Serious. And look at that, the next one that I find has it in again. So not only have we got enough of these for ourselves, we've got enough for another team as well. Okay, sheep on a chance cube, we've got to do it. And that is just an enchanting table. And that doesn't appear to be a trap. Okay, I don't really need that, but I'll take it. Another one, another one. Oh, we've seen that before, haven't we? Do it yourself, pumpkin. Hey, I want the hat you've got. Hi, it's mine now, Viking hat, awesome. I said to myself, that ain't no normal village. That looks like a gorgeous building. Man, that is a gorgeous building. Where is the entrance? <laughs> Look at this place. Hi, it's surrounded by trees. It's kind of difficult to see. Whoa, okay, there it is. There's the view. Hi, wow, what building have we just stumbled upon? There's lots of these, isn't there? There's lots of these gorgeous buildings that you'll find out and about every now and then. It looks kind of deserted. This would be such a nice thing to find right at the beginning of the game, so you've got to 
home. What is with the severed heads and the redstone torches? It's kind of creepy, actually. What is this place supposed to be? It looks like a holiday home, but it don't look like no one's had a nice holiday here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take these heads. <laughs> So I've got them back home. There's now a bit of a mess. <laughs> loads of these boxes. Loads of stuff lying around because I've set up a manual mill and a resonator. And that means I've also set up some water mills over here. And that means we're getting grid power because we're going to sort out the items up top. I have been crafting a few things. We've got transfer nodes, pipes, filters and upgrades to increase the speed of them which is why we need those water mills i literally started recording a moment ago and i was like oh yeah wait where's my upgrades i haven't made them yet i've made the bases and then i realized oh of course they're going to use gp so we've set up the water mills for that now we can head up top and we'll set up the storage system so planning and preparation is good but i can't help but feel i got lucky because i've used every transfer node every item filter and it's worked out just about right so we are telling these things here which items they can take out which are loot bags and slime blocks or sorry slime balls same on each side so they'll get moved down to here we've got a stack upgrade and a void upgrade in there which is something i've neglected to put over here so i want to leave this running around the clock and if we happen to fill this up uh, that many times however many that is then that's fine by me for now as this is temporary so what I've done is I've locked these compacting drawers and then they'll only accept the types that are there there's all of those ones right so the pipes can go into both of those this one here though will transfer the epic loot bag over to this side and that one will take the legendary and put it over here so everything is getting compacted up to legendary which is just superb but it works very slow now what I don't want to do is put one of these upgrades in because when I put in the stack upgrade a moment ago it crashed the server but I haven't tried the speed upgrade and the thing is the stack upgrade only affects the slime balls. The speed will affect these ones. So, oh no, it's going to crash again. Damn it. <laughs> you can see that the game froze, right? There it goes. So, unfortunately, that mod will crash the game, which really sucks. Uh, but I have been on another adventure and I did a live stream. So, if you're interested in seeing the entirety of this adventure, there'll be a link to it in the description box down below. I'm going to quickly recap and show you the things that I've got. got some heads, got a chicken pet, we got an absolute ton of these Hermitron cases and one of them has a mythic in and possibly more because I wasn't checking them. We also got a log chicken and a bone white chicken which is going to be great if we're going to start on that mod. And then in my backpack is the rest of the stuff. We found loads of random fireworks in this one place. Like there were some dispensers in the ground, so that's kind of cool. I feel like we should put those to use at some point. Here are the absolute ridiculous amount of these things in. And actually, as we scroll over here, unless they have more than five, I think they always have five, right? It would tell us if there are more items. We could actually check to see if the mythic is in there. Although I think the one that had a mythic, I ended up, there it is, <laughs> uh, putting other items into. So maybe we've got more than one. I'm going to scroll over them here quickly. So we've got some chance cubes, spawn eggs. One of those things which I'll open at some point in an episode and no mythic there, no mythic here, here or here or in those two. So it was just the one mythic and then we got loads of stuff uh, down here as well like an ender pearl which we kind of need a few of at the moment. And that is all the loot that I got. So if you're interested in watching the live stream you know exactly what we're going to get. I also just want to show you where we went and explored because we did actually find another mystical grove. Uh, we also found this cool Mesa Island right here. I really wish that biome was a mystical grove because that would have been perfect. But we found this one here and I didn't feel like the shape or the biome itself was much of a contender to challenge the one we've already got. And you can see we went over loads of ice lakes and all over the place. And so more exploring, more finding stuff. We are, we are good to get right into this series. And that's going to be it for me this episode. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. As always, thank you for the support. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.